Hi, I want to share with you today a few new things that we've been working on at LifeMinders. So the first thing you'll notice is that we've kind of brightened and livened up the colors. We've also really reorganized things and we hope that that uh, makes it much easier for you to find things on the shelf. This is kind of the first phase of our reorganization. Inside the binder will be our second phase. So the first thing that I want to show you on here is the tools. So we have Live Binder it here and hopefully you know that this is what you put on your browser so that you can add to your binders while you browse. We've also recently added the Live Binders app and this allows you to stay logged into Live Binders while you're on your iPad. This is kind of our first version so it still opens the binders in Safari but um, it's a good 1.0 version. Then there's also the TeacherCast app, and this is a great app if you haven't seen it, and it's got all sorts of LiveBinder searches on it that are a part of that app. We also have a little information here on shelves and just how to embed shelves in your website or wiki. So another thing I'd like to show you is the search capability. So you've always been able to search for binders here. We'll search for algebra. And we see lots and lots of binders that mention algebra in them. But people have gathered some of the best binders into shelves already. So now you can search for shelves. And I'll click on this pre-algebra shelf here and you'll see this is a very extensive collection of some great algebra binders. So that's a way to look for curated uh, binders that somebody else has already found some of the best and put them on a shelf for you. That searches all the public binders. I'm going to log in to show you a few more new things. So the first thing you'll notice is your dashboard is over here on the left. And this is where you would start a blank binder, start a blank shelf, or view your uploaded files. If you haven't seen this, this is the list of all the files you've ever uploaded and you can also delete the files from here. So the binder stats, view comments, and the, uh, another link to the bookmarking tool all here in your dashboard. If I go to my binders, you'll notice you have your other sub searches under here my public binders, my private binders, my collaborative binders. You also have your shelves down here and I really like the fact that I can leave this open because I organize all my binders by shelves and so it's really easy for me to find things this way. So if we move over here onto the right side you'll see we have binder categories here and we also have the saved educational searches here so that you can quickly find binders across the entire site that you might find interesting. And all these menus you can open and close as you see and they'll stay open and closed when you move from page to page. So that below the searches is the feed for, from Twitter on Live Binders and also the Facebook feed as well and links to our blog. So this is all the general Live Binders information over here on the right. Another new thing you may notice is there's now a list view. So sometimes people put in some very long titles and descriptions and you kind of want to see that before you open the binder. So if you look at it in list view, now you can see those very long titles and descriptions. So LifeBinders will remember your settings and if you view, you're viewing things in list view and you go back to your binders, those will show up in list view too. So those are all the new things on the shelf. Now I'd like to show you one more thing that we've added and this was a request by many people so I'm really pleased that we were able to get this out. And this is 
sending people to a specific tab within a binder. So now I'm inside a binder here and you can see I'm on the third tab. And if I go down to this E down here for embed, and it brings up this menu. And the very first thing on the menu is the general URL for the binder. And so if you use that URL or email it to somebody, they will go directly to the first page of the binder. The second URL sends them to the tab that you're currently on. So if I emailed this URL, everybody would go to my third tab here. So if you haven't seen, we, we included the present URL in here too. People sometimes like to send things in present mode and that's just a little cleaner way to view the binder. So that's here as well as is the embed code. So if you wanted to embed this binder icon on your wiki or blog, you would use the embed code down below. So thank you to everybody who wrote in that request. And thank you to those in the community who helped review this site as we were working on it. It's, we've had great input from people. So we hope it's organized in a way that you can easily find your way around. Thanks for taking the time to view this video.